Josh Nesbitt personally told me that when he was quarterback at Georgia Tech, this was absolutely Paul Johnson's favorite pass. Spread rip 66 is the call. Uh, what happens here is, we'll go through the protection first. Play side A back in the line, slide away from the call. So the A back has the C gap. He'll just line up right next to the tackle at the snap and then basically strike whoever shows between him and the tackle. The tackle has the back has the play side B gap, guard has the play side A gap, center has the back side A gap, guard has the back side B gap, tackle has the back side C gap. The B back will block the first right off the A back. Now he tries to get his left knee through the crotch of that player, but that's unrealistic. He's likely going to kick him with his right forearm, put his helmet to the left, and drive him out of bounds. And the quarterback's going to pull up inside of that block. In the route, what happens is the receiver, he's going to run 16 yards down the field. Now, if he can beat the corner, he's going to keep running, and the quarterback's going to throw him a ball. If he can, he's going to settle down and come back to the ball at 14 yards. The back set A back is going to go. He's going to leave on the arm ready. The cadence is down, ready, set, hot. He'll leave on the arm ready as fast as he can. He's going to go outside the A back. As soon as he gets outside the A back, he's going to run a six yard out. He's going to run a six yard out. The back set receiver runs 10 yards, breaks at 45 on the post. So there's six people, or excuse me, seven people protecting, three in the route. The quarterback. Is going to open up to the right. He's going to get six yards of depth. He's going to sprint. If he can get outside the B-back, that's fine. Otherwise, he pulls up. He's throwing the ball to the receiver. If the receiver beats the corner over the top, he's throwing the vertical. Otherwise, the receiver is going to break at 16, come back to the ball at 14. If the corner is outside the leverage... He's going to throw the ball to the receiver anyway. If the corner stays vertical and maintains inside leverage, he's going to throw the ball to the A-back who came across in rip motion and ran the six-yard out. So it's the receiver's ball unless the corner's inside leverage and over the top of the receiver. If that's the case, then he's going to throw to the A-back. It's a one-two progression. This was Paul Johnson's favorite pass in 08-9-10 when Josh Nesbitt was the quarterback. Josh Nesbitt personally told me this. So it's called spread rip 66. The rip tells the left A back that you're going across the formation. 66 is the situation, the protection, and it basically indicates that the route combination as well. All right, so... If coaches, if you're looking to install the triple option offense the right way the first time, call me at 570-332-0265, 570-332-0265, or go to tripleoptionfootball.com slash academy to learn how to install the triple option offense the right way the first time. That's tripleoptionfootball.com slash academy. We will talk soon.